Where Bring are... in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in the clowns. Here we are. Yeah. Send in the clown. No, Send we're the clowns. In the clowns. Right? Yeah, this oh, yeah, is true. The clowns are in. The clowns are here. Uh, hey, everybody, welcome to Twitch. We are Jimmy and Mike. Yeah. Who are known as collectively Bacon is My Passion. Indeed. Hosts of Bacon is My Podcast. Also. Also a thing. Yes. And today, on this lovely Twitch stream, we are joined by the mighty. The mighty. Slim jawlined. The slim jawlined. George, George Michael esque. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, they can't Dave be... Caggiano. <laughs> George Michael. I don't know. You know what's making you say that the beard, the half dirty beard thing? I mean, what? I mean, it might I, it's be. Just, it's it's slimming. It's has nice. He, has He's he got looked a nice at... jawline going on? I, I don't know. Has he has he looked at your pee pee in the, at the urinal or something? Oh. Is that what it is? Maybe. Maybe. Bacon. Bacon is my podcast. I don't know. I did notice in a recent picture that I have a neck now. I, I'm like, oh, look at that. There's like a neckline and everything. You know? <laughs> like, all right. You know, <laughs> not just double chins anymore. Okay, good. It's important. Yeah, it's absolutely. Important. It's a, that's oh, a good yeah. thing to notice. Uh, something that we will say is with your beard, I hope Jimmy's, cause he's seen you a couple times. Yeah. Uh, he should be giving you some manscaped stuff for your beard. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be, we'll be, Ooh. we'll be yeah. up with some manscaped. Right. Aren't they one of your, uh, benefactors or whatever? Uh, they are. They are of, of this particular stream as well. Oh, indeed. They're on board with us. Yes, so, they are uh, now, uh, they're now we have to say it. We're contractually ob obligated because I actually did sign a contract <laughs> saying yeah. that if you go to manscaped.com and use the promo code BACONPOD, you will save 20% off and get free shipping. Yeah, Ooh, I didn't I sign a contract. I would love to try some of those products for sure. We got some freebies. We'll hook you up. We got we'll, you. We'll bring you some stuff. Like uh, beard oils and bombs and fun stuff like that. And yeah. Yeah. Whatever, you know. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll we'll hook you up. We got our buddy uh, Mythical Beards too. Mythical Beards as well. He'll, he'll set you up. Definitely, Mythical Beards yeah. right now um, it smells delicious. I, I, I just want to say that they're giving away a free beard oil for anybody that doesn't order using the promo code Bacon fifteen. Right? No, no, no. Okay. It's the opposite. I'm wrong. No, if you use the promo code Bacon fifteen, right, you get a free beard oil. That's what I just said. You said doesn't. Did I say doesn't? Yeah, it's fucking weird. I like that you. You when you said it, I looked at you and I was like, what? Huh? I don't know how the, the extra syllable got in there, but anybody that uses the promo code BACON15 at yes. mythicalbeards.com, um, dude's sending you a free beard oil with your purchase, which is awesome, yeah. and you get 15% off. Yeah. So. Fucking A. Yeah. Fucking great. Um, mm -hmm. Dave, we're, we're actually excited because we get to uh, do the second passes with you. Yeah. And there is there is one song that we uh, we decided to not take your advice on. Well, one thing. Well, but we sent him the songs, right? Yeah, no, no, we yeah, sent yeah. we okay. sent you the songs. I was gonna say, I did give them a once over today, so I'm, yeah. uh, you know, I'm familiar with the latest versions. Maybe. Yeah. So, um, and uh, yeah, we're we're excited. I'm excited. Yeah, to, I think to I start know the tracking. one thing you didn't take my advice on. I yes. Yeah. It was just literally one. Yeah. It was literally right. one. Everything else we did, and we're excited to start tracking. We we might not get too many other people because uh, Michael Kelly Guitars sent us one to yes. uh, to play with here yes. so yeah yeah i'm excited we'll, we'll show you it'll after. be an unboxing even though it's been unboxed <laughs> yeah it's already no, i'm assuming the, with the, the thing you didn't <laughs> change is the, the thing you didn't change is the uh the love the way you suffer thing right that's like yes yeah 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 so be it you know but uh so what do you say we get into this? Yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm mean, anxious to know if we made changes in the way that uh, that you think helped or was the way that you were envisioning to and right, just to kind of right. like hear what you sure. think. Sure. So we'll listen to them and then talk. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. All right. Uh, first one coming up. Surface. Yeah.
I am excited to redo that. Like, legitimately excited to redo that, because it needs to sound better, like, sonically. Well, now, I like the song now a lot better. It, it feels very complete to me now, you know? Uh, I actually even did the solo live on on uh, on Twitch. Oh, did yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. I love that little harmony solo thing. That was his idea. We did uh oh thank you. We did all the uh yeah, all the changes that we made and, and anything that we added we did live on Twitch. Oh yep. that's well, neat. Yeah. So everybody's really getting a look and see it about it, all of how this goes down. Right, yeah. 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 Really I, cool. I was <laughs> I was I was talking to uh Josh uh, again, um from from uh from Silverstein and uh he we we're talking about this and he's like you're really showing people how the sausage is made, huh? I'm like, yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, that's a thing. He's like, yeah, you, you guys are crazy. <laughs> you guys are, yeah. By the way, the new Silverstein stuff is fucking dope. By the way, oh, I love yeah, it. it. It's really that's is. gonna be one of my reference records for the new Rebel Nine stuff. Actually. It, nice, as it should be. As it should be. Yeah. As it should it's be. Fantastic sounding, you know. Yeah. Very good stuff. Okay, I'll tell you, I love that vocal effect in the second verse too. Whatever that was, that's fucking mm -hmm. dope. Yeah, that's yeah. That I mean, that was in the original one, but but why is it more pronounced or something now? It like uh, jumped out. At well, this time yeah. For well, no, because I I actually so the reason why for some reason I, I don't know why, but when I was bouncing the stems from because all this stuff was pretty much done in uh, lo, uh, Reaper. Reaper, yeah. Uh, yeah. When I was bouncing the stems. For some reason, like parts of only the vocal parts were, were like dropping I'm out of nowhere. That. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Um, but the one thing that actually stayed and for some reason is more pronounced because I I did remix it in in Logic um, to rework them uh, was was that and and, and yeah that that creepiness yeah, again yeah. that that is more pronounced. I love that. Yeah, that sounds great. And yeah, the whole harmony guitar thing, I love that. That's that's a great thing to do, like, you know, like guitar solo. Now it has some length on it. It feels more complete, you know. It's definitely, I love bringing the stuff into the beginning of the song, too. That, like, whole idea from the end kind of starting. it. So, like, bookends with that whole thing. You yeah. Know? You know? Yeah, we, we, we tried the um, the whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing didn't work. But, but yeah. just, like, but after that it. first... Uh, after that first couple of measures, and then only doing it that one part, it was, that's again, fine. That was a, yeah, that worked. it was like, oh yeah. man, that 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 works. I didn't necessarily mean to like it had to be the whole enchilada from the end, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just like whatever works to get you into the song, you know. I felt that was time frame wise, that was pretty correct. You know. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, any any suggestions? Anything we didn't quite do enough of, or feeling pretty good? No, I feel pretty good about it. I, awesome. Honestly, I feel like it's like pretty fucking good, you know. Nice, sweet. Yeah. One song. That's check. Good. That's kind of good to go. It's far like now you need get a fucking drummer on that, you know, yeah. like kind of make that happen and uh, absolutely you know, obviously like make those guitar sounds ungodly, you know. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I think the the way we originally recorded it was you had that uh, that single channel Marshall head. Yeah, and yeah. and he, and that had it, it direct was like, out. Yeah, it was like literally the first day that he 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 had bought it, and he's like, "Let's try it out." And mm -hmm. uh, and we literally we plugged it into a an interface. I don't even remember what interface it was that I had at the time. And yeah, just threw and, down the uh, ideas. and threw the idea down, and uh, that's why those guitar sounds are so shrill. Oh, yeah, you know? I mean, I like it's a work in progress. Like now's not the time to be fucking dialing in tones. Just get right, it right. down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. No problem. So great. I had that amp for maybe three weeks. <laughs> yeah. That was that was short lived. And it was gone. That was definitely short lived. Interruption. I was gonna do the hold up. <laughs> hey. But that was better. Nice. There's no time like today to take care of your your hygiene. Indeed. Indeed. And one of those things that can help you if you're a man. Or a woman, even. Yeah. Uh, Manscaped. Manscaped can help you with their uh, their lawnmower 4.0. Yeah. Uh, their lawnmower 4.0 has skin safe technology. It's a ceramic blade. It's waterproof. It's got a nice little uh, LED light, so this way you can mm -hmm. see 
underneath all those those crevices. Shave your privates in the shower in the dark. Don't actually do that. Don't do that. But you could. Yeah, you could with Manscaped. Because you have a light. Indeed, indeed. And for guys, uh, listen, uh, the perfect package uh, 4.0 is like where it's at for you guys. Because it comes with not only the lawnmower, not only the weed whacker for your ear and nose holes. Well, we got one. So, yeah. So, bring it up real quick. What you also get. So, yes. For one, you get the lawnmower 4.0, which is ceramic blades. It's not going to cut you. It's got a guard so you can... You know, make sure that you got a trim in some spots. You got yes. to the skin in other spots. You make sure that that bean bag's shiny. You know, we also have some package that bean bag in underwear. The underwear. Yeah, it's got the, uh, the little ball pouch. It does have the ball pouch. And it's fantastic. Yeah, uh, it's great. Separate. It's technology. Um, this right here. I like this. Is for when you are shaving your balls. Yeah. It's little placemats, so this yeah, way... Like, it's like a newspaper! Yeah, but then you just you, you shave them, you crumple it up, you throw it away. No mess, no huss, no fuss. Yeah. Right? Is that, it's is also that got it some... It's It's got some fun, funny articles in it It does. Well, it so does. It does when you read I it. I recommend you definitely read it, yeah. but not while you're shaving your nuts. No. Uh, there's the ball deodorant. Yes, I, I use it every day. Crop preserver... And the Crop Reviver. I don't use it every day, but I have used it plenty It is times. pretty fantastic. You need that midday spritz. Yep. Just pst, pst, go for it. Freshens you up right away. Who doesn't love a little spritz on the bean bag? Exactly. And where do I keep it all? Well, right here. The shed, baby. You know what? The shed is a pouch for the things to clean your pouch. Exactly. Right? Right? I use it personally for my toilet trees when I travel. You do. I've it's, seen it. I, I've got I've got multiple. I've got a few of them. Uh huh. So uh, yeah, go ahead, manscape.com. Use the promo code Bacon Pod. You get twenty percent off this entire order plus free shipping. Uh, not only can you get the Perfect Package 4.0, but you can sign up for their program where they will send you new stuff automatically. New blades. Every month, every two months, every three months. You decide. You decide what you need. If you need new blades every three months, they'll send you new blades every three yes. months. If you want to check out uh, maybe the crop mops. I can't talk about the crop mops enough they're my favorite thing yes uh, get those get those every month when anyway, you come and you hang out with us and we see you and stuff like that we always have crop mops on our person so yeah it's make like sure a business card us. but for manscaped and not us yes so go ahead yeah manscaped.com promo code bacon pod 20 percent off free shipping call it a day thank you very much yeah um okay now is uh love the uh love the way you suffer yep it's- Let's see, let's see how this one turns out. Did things.
So yeah, we we felt especially with the way the verse was going, it has that kind of like slow groove. Mm -hmm. And it, and it kind of dragged if we if we kept it that way. Yeah, so it was more of a the one of the bigger things that that we talked about in every song that you brought up was our transitions into it. So it was like Let's work on the transition in and see if that cures some of those ills and creates that upbeat feel for the song, which I think I think it I think it made sense. To Look, me. I didn't I didn't not like that. By yeah. the way, it's not you know it wasn't really a question of was that no good or anything. I mean, it was just like it's a it's a thought, you know. It's right. just like a, an, an angle, you know. But like now that I've kind of like settled in with it, I keep hearing it. I'm like, yeah, it's great. No, it's just like I was just thinking like for dramatic effect there was something about saving that to the end I thought that would have been mm -hmm. interesting to pick it up kind of thing yeah but that that meant committing to the whole thing kind of being a bit of a sludge fest I guess you know which once again it's an angle it's a, right, it's right. a thought, you know it's neither good nor bad I like but this this is works for me though too you know cool yeah we we made sure that come the transition point we were like, okay, got to do the fuck out of these drum fills. Like, right. that, do, that, do. <laughs> and that's a lot of what's going on here across the board. And we, I think yeah. we talked about that is like smoothing those edges. And like, you know, and I think once you have the real player and you were, you're able to go to the tracking phase and like you can have them try some different things and then you, you're able to pop that in and like, you know, experiment a little bit with like how those transitions go with an actual drummer too. Like that'll feel different, you know? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. But going uh, in with everything kind of already, you know, kind of the framework there. So whoever's playing drums is going to have that reference to that'll help, you know, yeah. it's like, but yeah, I can't wait to hear it with a live player on it. Cause like as good as these fucking drum programs are now, cause they're amazing, you know, easy drummer, superior drummer, slate stuff, whatever it is that you're using. It's incredible, but there is something still about the live body and like a human being do of course yeah yeah, um, yeah definitely because you can literally dial in every nuance you want on these things and you can have it but i still feel like there's there's something missing when it's not a real player you know mm -hmm. yeah yeah how do we feel about um making the bridge shorter i th i, I think keeping that the riff good. through the second verse those things kind of work out the way that we were hoping they would that you were hoping they would yep I think so and i and i think like and the verse thing i feel is much better now you know like i feel like like it's identifiable as both of them being verses in the same song you know mm -hmm. like like I, what was it the guitar thing's there now yeah like, the the uh the droning yeah, kind of yeah. guitar yeah. Um, that's that's a big uniter for that you know having that in there was huge you know to kind of be like okay that's familiar to me this is the verse kind of thing right you know? right yeah second verse you know i like that it's like and that was the missing element basically for me like that's as long as there's like a marker there kind of mm -hmm. that's like oh yeah this is we heard this before but now it's different which it should be but now it, but like beforehand if i was like oh what is this is this a different part you know like kind of thing now i don't get that at all you know nice it's great cool cool continuity Yes. Yeah, you know, that's really what it's about for me. Because, like, I'd rather you guys just, like, you do your thing creatively and, like, you know, just kind of let it all hang out. And then I come in and I'll be like, okay, maybe let's kind of, you know, have a little structure here and kind of get that continuity. Like, I'm kind of like the school teacher or something. Right. Like, oh, <laughs> you know, like, maybe your not artsiness that. is great. <laughs> but uh, but... Let's, let's reel it in. <laughs> you know, like, right, right. I, I hate being that person too sometimes i mean that, that's kind of what i'm here for but like i grew up in such a different way i mean i grew up with a in a band that like would play us would leave one song in their set at night where we would just explore and if it was a 20 minute affair so fucking be it you know <laughs> right, this right. is kind of like not like it's, it's kind of a 180 from my original thought process <laughs> you know? but nice. you know so i get it so like you know you do you and then we'll fucking read it right know? right that's all cool nice uh any new notes any i don't think so it's like like i said it's like i only got to give them a once over today because you, you know what i think like the email wound up in my spam folder from the other day uh, or yeah, something yeah. like that so i i was like hey do we have the invite here and then you sent it over i was like oh i better listen to these jesus I'm like, 
<laughs> so yeah, I might like you know I'll think about it a little more, but so far so good. Like everything cool. sounds you know a lot more cohesive. The little tightening things we're doing they make a difference, you know. Nice, nice. Awesome. but they were cool. like ninety five percent there anyway. You know, these were just small things. You know, right? Yeah. So, so cool. far so good. You guys have any thoughts? You're a hundred percent on everything. Like, is anything sitting well with you? Everything sitting well with you? I'm still hearing this this time. Uh, my I when the bridge came, I was like, maybe I want to hear that longer. Can, why don't you play that again? Why, can we hear yeah. it again? You yeah. know, we did make that shorter, which I yeah. think was was smart. But then I was also kind of like, maybe you missed. That's money in the bank right there. Yeah, I like it better now hearing it the yeah. second time too. It's just it feels complete. Like like it feels like okay, anything more might be overkill. You know, it's like it even though it's groovy as fuck, and you could kind of roll with that for about ten minutes if you wanted to, and just get off on it. But yeah. for arrangement purposes, yeah. that's correct. Maybe I would try a broken down course after that. Build, 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 open. Yeah, you could try that. You know, maybe just the first half of the chorus. You know, like it all breaks open. It's just, it's like a downpour, the way you hate to. Like a, like a, I think like a, uh, a flangy as hell, kind of like a. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe that guitar line comes back, and but I'm singing the that part over it, and then we all, kind of, it all comes back in, after that. That could offer some good contrast, you know? It's like, I feel like I could o suggest that in almost every song to some degree. That yeah. broken down thing always seems to work. It's just a question of when do you want to deploy that, you know? That, that might really be what it is. It might have just been that I wasn't ready to hear the chorus again yet. Mm. After that, so quick. That might have been it. Because we stopped it right before the chorus, and I yep. felt like, no, that's good. <laughs> so it might have even been, it might have just been because of that. I'm just writing it down. Mm -hmm. But that could really work, though, too. I mean, like, if you break it down there and then kick it back in raging again, you know, like, it could give... Because you are trucking along the whole song. Right. Know? There is no respite throughout the whole song where there's that break, you know. It could be f very effective. I like that. I, I, I do like that idea. Like, a, almost like a pull the EQ across kind mm -hmm. of effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sure. There. All right. I like that. I like that. Third yeah, I think passage. we. I think didn't we play around with that in some other things too? We played yeah, around, yeah. Uh, we we did that. Actually, we did that on uh, the surface. We did it on right, mm -hmm. and like something in Razor too. Did we Razor, yep. Yeah, we yeah. did it there. Right. And like I guess like maybe why I didn't maybe I suggest it. It for this one is because I felt like I I don't want to bring that up too much. Right, if we're know? doing it and everything. But that's yeah. fine. It's like, you know, it could work even better in this song or whatever. But it's also how it's a, it's also how you do it. Yeah, right, because none like, of the yeah. other ones it's like a complete breakdown. This you're talking about might be a whole like, you know, mm -hmm. it's like everything goes away, maybe just one guitar strum, like a flangy vocal or something, and then kabang, you know, back yes. to kind of yeah. 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 Don't have to ask me twice on that. <laughs> uh, flangy bass just going. <laughs> oh, bass chords? Yeah. We could do that. Yeah. We could do that. We could Something try a lot of shit. Yeah. That's where we can go MIDI. Possibilities are can... endless. <laughs> yeah. The world is our oyster. Indeed. <laughs> yes, and a is. vampire. At what? I said, and a vampire. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a that's, that's a tour. one of the better things on that record. On the like, and I'll say this: double albums are not necessary. I can't think of one double album that couldn't be made into a killer single album. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. make a bold statement. Even my favorite all-time artist, the Beatles, the White Album could be better if it was a single record. I I, I agree. 
I'm with yeah. you. I agree. We could cut some stuff. Yep. Yeah, I mean, there's a little like, fat. There's a little fat on that record. <laughs> yeah, because people love to like talk about how brilliant the White Album is. I'm going. Might have been even more brilliant if it was one yeah. record. <laughs> Sometimes restraint is brilliance. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, double albums are meant for like live and greatest hits packages right. and like you know stuff like that. It's ambitious to do a double record. B sides. I, I put out a whole record called B sides. Well, for no, that exact it. reason. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, the very, you know, the very first three Chicago records, you know, the, the band that ultimately gave you, you know, you're the inspiration later on down the line, their first three albums were actually all double albums. That's how fucking adventurous they were. That's ballsy. That's, that's crazy. Come out of the gate with it and they'd be like, let's do that again. It was the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just kept rolling with it. it was Round like, three? <laughs> let's do it. By all means. <laughs> I guess when Excellent. you're jazzy and fusiony like Chicago was, you know, yeah, like, you could, like they you were can, yeah. very, very progressive and very interesting in their early days. So right. I feel like they, like those records, I pretty, I enjoy. It's like so Chicago's the exception. <laughs> Sweet the double album. Sweet. Certainly not Smashing Pumpkins though. No. <laughs> yeah. I, I like actually I like Muzzle on that record. I, I do like it. Muzzle's I mean, a great song. I like a lot of Smash Pump. There's yeah. a lot of good stuff on there, yeah. but it probably would be better if it was one record. I agree. I agree. Ah! Quick reminder that this show is brought to you by our brand new sponsor, Mythical Beards. Check them out, mythicalbeards.com. You can get stickers. You can get hoodies. You can get all that kind of stuff. But most importantly, you can get shit for your face. Keep your beard fresh. Keep it clean. Keep it groomed. If it's good enough for Mick Foley, God damn it, it's good enough for us. I'm wearing the Kraken right now. I am actually wearing the Dracula. Nice. And that's why I smell like an old-time barbershop. If you go to mythicalbeards.com and use the promo code BACON15, you get 15% off your entire order. The show is also brought to you by our good friends at grillyourassoff.com, where you can also get 15% off of your order of all spices, grilling rubs. They're uh, delicious freaking sauces. Yes, delicious sauces, all that kind of stuff. Every season is grilling season if you like to cook. Yes. So definitely check it out. Grillyourassoff.com. Use the promo code. Bacon because it'll keep grilling season all year fucking long. 15% off with the promo code. 10% off at drinkwildbills.com where you can get all kinds of great sodas, which we've seen lots of mixers for. So keep sending them in. Hashtag drinkwildbills. Hashtag what's your bacon. Mm -hmm. Send us your, your beverage options. Of choice. And yes. also poddex.com. You can see them in another part of the show. Yes, indeed. But both of those, 10% off, you use the promo code bacon. So yes. check it out. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you got. Use them. Find them. If you can't remember what we just said, go to baconismypodcast.com. Everything's there. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Uh, what's left? We'll do that now. I I, uh, I actually played bass on it on the, for the second pass. Yes. I recorded ah, bass. Ah. So this way it's not as uh, empty. annoying and empty. Yeah. That's good. So that's what we're going to listen to next. Very cool. Jimmy solo right there.
I would not say he turned one thing to another. It's not like that. great love the fucking intro being like that now yeah it, it, yeah. it made a huge difference that, that i think made a, I mean, stop it out of I mean, all the out of all the suggestions which were all very good this was another one of those where it was like oh duh <laughs> like, yeah. What? yeah sometimes you don't realize you're like like you know you're sitting on this monster situation that just you'd be like yeah start with that please you know like, right yeah fucking huge yeah. you know that's just, and I love that drum fill going into it too. And when you go into the verse, that was fucking rad. Nice. Yeah. Uh, the the other thing too that that um that stop before the first chorus, you can faintly hear like, and I don't even know what that's from, but it's uh, it's something that it might be the bass, mm -hmm. uh, but like it's kind of a swell, mm -hmm. and that's right. kind of what what we were envisioning. We did we just didn't go ahead and do it. Right. But oh, yeah. But but like in that that where the um that drum fill is the that, 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 that yeah like like a nice kind of swell little guitar hook becoming yes a guitar hook um you know. and we also pulled out chords entering the chorus too that I like listening back to the performances weren't there because we just literally cut it out and and put. Yeah. And uh, put those chords in. We kind of copy paste. Yeah, but stuff. that's like a half measure that we took out before every. But course. yeah, it kind of did this like step down, like a. So it sounds great. I mean, whatever it. this is now, it sounds fucking rad. You know, I think it's excellent, and love this piano thing that's going on too. Like, yeah, like, that that's actually I. <laughs> we came up with it, and I had a uh, Garage Band on my phone. Right. And, oh yeah and, shit because because we were like we were like That's we right. need piano on this and i didn't have my That's mini and stuff right. like that and i was like you know what like fuck it i'm, I'm just gonna pull it up on my phone that's what and made you buy that thing that's what made me buy that thing <laughs> because because i was like That's right damn i forgot all i have that. i have my phone we'll, we'll do it on my phone and then i'll and then, text it to myself right and hell of a world we live in huh <laughs> yeah that's right. Yeah, I totally this forgot uh, that. Yeah, this is a, these are fun stories from what <laughs> five five six years ago. So yeah. when we wrote the songs, that that's so that's the original thing. I, we definitely wanted to sound better, more of like a creepy piano. Well, I was gonna say that was what I was gonna say next. It's like I like this idea. I love the notes and the idea, but I would try and make that sound un piano. It's like 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 use piano. But yeah, let's put it through the fucking ringer. And you know and maybe I mean? even like higher, maybe instead right. of where where it's at, do it like a like a higher pitch. Sure, it's but like I want. That's the kind of thing, like you know, almost like dead keys, distorted, fucking tremolo it, do stuff to it to like let's do stuff to it that just makes it sound like you said creepy and like yeah. Like just, Hold on to know, the percussive like aspect piano. of a piano, but get rid of everything else that would make it one. Right. 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 Like it's the dead like, keys, like the, the the crappy keys that you hit. Right. That uh, that's what I that's what I hear in my yep. head. Like exactly something something that's not traditional piano sounding at all because yeah. that flavor doesn't really go with this right. language. No. Right. No. Right. <laughs> so yeah. So but but the idea is great and the the texture of it's right like having a hammered sound kind of that's like got a strong transient like that i love that it just needs to sound like you sort said of creepy and like kind of floaty and weird and like where mm -hmm. somebody's gonna go what's that kind of you know yeah like, right but it's not like oh piano it would just be like oh cool you know like that's right we do another, we do another one of these years from now and it's like oh yeah i remember that we totally took a piano and made it sound like 10 other things <laughs> and that's what i like to do with like overdubs and little things like that it's like yeah let's use a guitar but don't make it sound like a guitar right yeah or like you know just to broaden the palette and stuff or use the traditional instruments but let's see how we can fuck it up basically yeah absolutely just now if we unique. now if we now, i'm kind of getting 
getting already into the weeds here a little bit, but we don't have to go too much into it. But like when we record this, should we send you uh, like sounds that we came up with from my MIDI stuff and then also send you the MIDI track? And then you can play around with it on whatever you've got going. Yeah, I would say like give me what your the vision is for it, what you're doing MIDI wise, and then like if I feel anything like I can expand on it or make you know do something else with it, I'll ask you for the MIDI. You know, pretty simple. Yeah. We did that with Pathmaker actually. They had a bunch of cool shit in their demos already that were like in their MIDI wise be a piano or synths or, or organ or whatever the hell it was. And I brought all that into the sessions. A good chunk of it wound up staying as is, you know, like with the oh. sounds that they put down. I'm like, why are we going to fuck with this? It's like, this sounds really cool. But other stuff, it was like, that's not right. Let's let's fuck with it. And then I grabbed yeah. the, mid, did the raw MIDI files and we played with other sounds, you know. Nice. So expect to do a little of both is what I would say. You know? And uh, and that guitar solo I did is just in the position. I mean, that's your spot. So, it's... oh right. Oh, we're still talking about that. <laughs> I love yeah. that though. What you got there? I don't know if I can best that. You gotta you gotta get those uh, those little workout things for your fingers. <laughs> Start start working them out, yes. buddy. I know. I already I already have been playing a little more here and there and picking it up. And like the first night I did that, I was like, what a disaster. I'm like, oh my God. It's like <laughs> But yeah, like after a couple of times of playing, I'm like, all right, I feel like some callus is starting to form. Right, right. <laughs> it comes back. It comes back to you. It does eventually. It's like, so don't worry, I'm like aware, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so all right. That's nice. just the four position only. <laughs> <laughs> That was a cool solo. Like, I like that. Uh, you got you got any notes? I, I'm I'm happy. No, I was I, like I, I, I that one, that one. I think everything really came time. together on that one yeah. really well. I like everything that we kind of did. Um, I think yeah, we did. All the, I think we did all the right things. Yeah, yeah. And a little bass makes it nice too. Yeah, know? yeah. A little beefier. Indeed. Like it. Cool. No, I think it's pretty good to go that one. Yeah. Sweet. All nice right. Doing well so far. We are uh, three for three so far. I mean, yeah. we, we've got one one suggestion in the one song that's uh, not too bad. All right. So uh, we'll do Razor now. All right. Dave, I, I think I messed up because I didn't add it to the screen. Did you hear it when it wasn't on the screen or no? I don't know. I heard it. Uh, when I, I wasn't looking, but like I heard the whole thing. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. When it's not in, it'll still play. Okay. Yeah. It's good.
just want to see poses when you do that. I, I just want to see it. It's so it's so funny. Like you know, even today, uh, like DJ played uh, played the new song, the new something heavy song, and I was I was listening to the box in like during lunch, and uh, when he when he started playing it, I I muted the Hard Rock Lunchbox, and Jen's like, "What are you?" What are you doing? I'm like I, I don't want to. I don't want to hear myself. I've heard this. I don't. I don't <laughs> like. And then like now every time we play Razor and like that part comes up, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't want to hear it. But and every time it comes up, I start to do a dance in my seat. He does dances. <laughs> like, he mm. he does all sorts of fun stuff. But oh, it's so good. It is good. It's it's really good. So I do have a couple of thoughts about this one. Yeah, okay. Um, but, well, first of all, the textures are sounding great. I hear, like, some more guitar textures in there and some fun stuff that are going on. And the fills are a welcome addition for the choruses there, for sure. But I'll say this. is Here's what I think you should do. The second fill, the one, like, before the second chorus, that, that big one, mm. I would put that before the first chorus, and I would do a dead stop at the beginning of the second chorus. Like, let that vocal just hang over, and then bang, right into the chorus mm. again. I would have no drum fill there, you know? Okay. Like, whatever's, like, is that the vocal's hanging over there, and then, ah, bang, you know, like, kind of right in, right on top of it, kind of, you know? But that fill is so fucking good that was there. I would move that one to the first one, because that's emphatic as hell, you know? So I love that. Nice. Okay. So, and, oh, my other thought was... In the intro, I love where you where you're going, like having those chords in the intro. But I don't even think I hear them with a drum beat, though. Like I hear like starting with just the guitar, bow out, bow out, bow out, bow out, bow out, bow out, like you know, Yeah, there like, was something in there that was bothering me a little bit, and it might and like I, I think that might be a good idea of like like yeah, and then build like, it build it instrument by instrument, so that when the bass comes in. During that bum 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 bum, it it's yeah. it's like a okay now we're all together now. Like I don't even know if it, it could be like something even just like you hear that riff go by once and then like a bass drop happens like a boom like kind of thing right, like right. a halfway point and then it's big fill and in no build up just to put like you're know, like it's just like something like it's it should be more angular and like like whoa like shocking kind of thing, you know. And it's kind of not doing that right now. It's like, okay, that's nice. But like, right. I love the chords being there. But like, I would start with only guitar there, kind of. And then, like, at the halfway point, like, you do some cool little thing, like a bass drop or some kind of little, like, swirly thing happens or something comes in interesting. But, and then you're into the verse, like something like real simple and powerful just to get into the verse. Okay. And I would, and I would like to try just so we write it down to when we go in to do that. I would like to try when the vocal comes in, uh, just to hear it drop the guitars out and have it be bass and drums. In, Wait, in, the, in the first oh, verse, I can't get, yeah, that first verse have it be just. Well, that could be cool, bass especially if you're introing with the guitar like and we're the, saying. Right, right, and then coming out of it, and then right where we get to follow, follow, and then everything's in right there. Dynamics is your friend with this one, you know? So I like this where your line of thinking with that, you know? Yeah, bass, bass. and drums. Because it's great. It's great, but it does have a tendency to get a little linear. And that's what I'm trying to kind of do is like kind of give it some right. motion and like movement and like ups and downs. I heard, that, that's, I heard that same thing when we just listened to uh, it now. Follow is when the guitars come in? Yeah, right when, when the bass is going to go to those 16ths. That's when the guitars come in, because then the bass goes away from doing the okay. hard stops, and the guitar yeah, yeah, doesn't, yeah. and then the... Okay. I got yeah, that all... Cool. Yeah. That might be interesting. Because they're all written down, we can... Just to hear. Just to and we can fucks with that. Yeah. I like the I like the breakdown chorus later on, where it's just bass and drums kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's, that's yeah. cool. Well, that's, a, that's a cool sound, you know? Yeah, uh, Jimmy actually suggested that that droning, the... Me, 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 Yeah, the droning me, me, guitar. Yeah. Um, that was his he actually tracked it he tracked it while we were here i i, I actually i enjoy that addition because we did try it just um we did try it just the the bass and drums but yeah. th there was something missing like we it no that's cool energy 
Yeah, it and, didn't have to be just that. Just it, just as long as like the the picture changes a little. Right. Somehow, yeah. You know. Right. Yeah. You do what feels right, and that that guitar thing was cool. Still, that's what well, I meant by there's more textures there and cool little things like that. You know, it's a little zazz. Great. Yeah. A razzle dazzle. Because yeah, that one's really starting to shine. Because I thought in a lot of ways that might be the strongest song in a lot of ways. You know, like mm-hmm. it's just oh, nice. very powerful. Now the dynamics are starting to cook a little bit more. I'm starting to feel like, oh boy, this is going to be special. You know, nice. sweet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I like these suggestions. Yeah. Anything you heard? I um. I might say like dumbing down the drums even more. Mm-hmm. Because it, I, it's a, like a lot of da 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 right. Uh, just just dumbing it a little bit, just to follow the guitar riff. I don't know why we didn't pull them out in the when we were redoing this. I'm not sure. I, I think I think it was because of the the that intro and the way that it like the right the the way it comes in. It's kind of like ahead of the beat, and we weren't really able to accomplish that with the. Um, with the the program drums, right? And we were like trying so hard to do it. And I was like, just forget it. Like we're gonna get a real drummer. Cut and paste. So we'll figure it out. We'll yeah. figure it out. We'll figure uh, it out. But but yeah, that uh, that kind of that was the one thing that kind of stood out to me. Where oh like, wait, like it's like during the verse? Are you talking about like what? Are you um, the entrance on the verse. Entrance on the verse. Okay. I, I can we hear it again? I'm like I'm, yeah. I, yeah yeah. Let me see. Yeah, you hear it. It's like it's just kind of flowing through. I don't. I, I think it should it's, be. I didn't hear that. Whatever you just did, that I didn't hear. Okay. Oh, you didn't oh. hear anything just now? No. Okay. So pop oh, it back okay. In. All right. We'll pop it back in. So oh, oh, hear. oh, oh. That's why. Because he. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't hear. Sorry. It. I thought he meant. I don't know what you're saying. It's like. No, yeah. <laughs> I actually literally didn't. Hear. Oh, okay. But th- this, you'll you hear. The I think bop, the, bop, 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 like kind of thing. Yeah, I want to take those out. Okay, I, I'm on. Um, with that. but but the uh, the entrance of the eye. Yeah, should have been on a kick, and it, it yeah, it's not. Right, so that should just be boom, boom, that. boom, yeah. that, boom, boom, that, boom, boom, that. You know, like yeah, symbols is better, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yep. it's like that could work in a certain way, but like I see what you're saying. It's like not not for the tops of it like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. right, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me just dumb down. Kick ski. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Um, that sounds great. Then uh, I think this is the last one. I think so, too. All right, we have five. Oh, yes. Uh, and what is it? How do we move on? How do we move on? Okay. How do we move on? I continue to chase this the impossible dream. I knew that one day I'd face it It was harder than it seems There's a realization An unbearable dream My humiliation And disappointment inside
Wish I could change this Loss of desire There is no motivation No stars in the eyes The risks that we've taken The damage we've made To rescue this fruit And we know who's to blame I still think it's funny that we cut the, because I do the could have been in the right. original, could have been, could have been, and uh, you could still hear the second could have been because the way we used to record these demos was with two mics. Right. And just sing it together. <laughs> so you still hear it faintly in the background. I, right, right. I, I, I don't and find a, it faintly in the background, but I but I, I think I think it works faintly in the background. Yeah. It's like a, a nice echo in the back. That's a happy accident. You know, yeah, it, it's a yeah. It's definitely a happy accident. Do you right. still feel like us taking out the echoes was the right move? Yes, but do you but, feel like us taking out the echoes was the right move? Mike's vocal. You mean that like those answer things? And yeah, everything? yeah. I yeah. I mean, I I feel like that's okay. You know, I mean, it's you know, I'm I'm definitely like overall i feel like yeah that bridge is better because it's a little more simplified on drums that's nice you know the stop thing it's like i really like what you did with it in the first chorus like right before the first chorus, that seemed to really work but the second chorus, i feel that one that's too long yeah that stop you know it's like that kind of works better at the end when it happens at the end with that nice cool feel that but don't back in mm -hmm. that works I think we've got to figure out a way to make it where it doesn't really stop or if it is going to stop. I know I suggested the stop, whole stop thing. I know, but like in hot, now that I'm hearing it, I love it in the first chorus going and that really cures it where it's like, okay, now, you know, this is the chorus. This is great, but maybe we could do it like somehow do the playthrough in the second chorus or make right. the stop briefer or something there, you know? Now the first, the first on? stop has that guitar droning through yeah. it. Um, is that something that we should bring back in the second maybe, one? Or? Yeah, maybe that's it or something. I just feel like something like, oops, in the second chorus, I was like, that feels like it's too long. Like it, like the stop was like, oh, that was a little too long. Mm -hmm. um, but the first one seemed to work. Here, play the first thing before the first chorus one more time. Sure. Hear that? Okay. Uh, Make sure he's in there, too. Yeah. The impossible, unbearable mission, disappointment inside me. That's great. I like, like, 
Like that's really emphatic sounding, you know. And I love the guitar. That thing. feels like a, that feels like you light a fuse and then the bomb blows up. Yeah, yeah. to me. So now jump to the second one, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Reskins fruit. Okay. Is it coming in later this time? Is that yeah, what yeah. it is? Yep. Yeah. I feel like maybe pull the same maneuver time wise as the first one, you know? Like I feel like that's the thing that's like irking me about it is it's too long. It's like, oh we missed it kind of thing, you know? Gotcha. Like it could maybe like, you know, and and I don't know, like the guitar thing, maybe it's there, maybe it's not. I don't know. But like that's the big issue to me is it's too long of a gap with the stop guy. Okay. That move works great later on because it's kind of a similar thing, I guess, in the later on one, maybe, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Except it has that little drum thing, the bet dome, right? Or whatever, right? Yeah. That works for that stage of the song. But here I feel like mm, we need to kind of get back to it again. It's like coming, like like you, Jim, you said it right there. It's like, it's almost like a fuse gets lit and then bang, it blows right, right. there. That kind of waits a little too long and the impact isn't as strong now, maybe, you know? So I try and like bridge that gap a little more, make it, make it similar to the first one. Gotcha. Okay. Or okay. now that we have the stop in the first one, experiment with a playthrough of some sort with it like when the drummer's in the room kind of thing maybe have him play through it maybe it's not a build up there maybe he's just playing through and it's like like that would be something to expect that would be a key point to kind of throw at the drummer to kind of see like what can we do here like you know love like a human drummer's input on that actually you know to right. kind of see what he would do you know yeah but for now i think it's definitely make that shorter that stop you know and experiment with like playing through it, I think, too. Now that we've established that that's the chorus the first time, I think now I'm less inclined to have a full stop there. It's like we could still do it, but it needs to be shorter like the first one. But if not, it could be a playing through situation, you know? Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, maybe like okay. try something other than the build, too, or something, you know? Like I think maybe that's partially like what is a little bizarre about it maybe i don't know you know it's still kind of open that spot i think but that will work if it's the shorter stop you know gotcha. okay yeah, yeah for we sure. did we did like uh i think the the original version we had more of like a tom mm -hmm. like a tom kind of playing uh into that instead of the build right oh right 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 yeah yeah it was like a do 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 well, and even yeah, that, you, even yeah. that, um, that little riff is twice as long in the second one. The yeah, it goes da 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 that might make it feel longer too. Yeah, it's just a little awkward right now. I think yeah. there's like you can like make it a little more concise sounding, perhaps, you know. But in general, it is better the whole stop thing. It's like kind of a separation of like, wow, this is definitely the chorus. Kind right, of. right. That, that was my main issue with it. We just got to massage that one to the second chorus a little bit better. Okay. You know? Okay. If you guys think so, I mean, I kind of think it. Can no, be I I agree. This first time that we listened through it, um, when it got to the third stop, I was like, "Oh man, we just did pretty much three stops." Yeah. Then I was yeah. like, "That's probably yeah, that's too many stops." Was, yeah. Um, and I in the room while we were doing it, it probably made all the sense in the world. But then, like, taking a week off from taking it, a week off from and it, and then hearing it, I was like, New Year's, "I was like, yeah. that's a lot of stops." <laughs> I agree, and like the the mean. For me, the key one was the first one, and it still works the third time too. It's so the second time we got to figure yeah. out some kind of thing. Yeah, that's I why agree. I'm leaning towards a playthrough of some sort. You know, maybe there's a cool drum fill, maybe there's a brief stop or something, but it's just more of a pause and like kind of mm -hmm. back in kind of thing. You know, yeah. well, I'm just kind of like ah, right now it's hanging, it's hanging, it's hanging. Well, I think know? we got to cut that build to the same thing too. That maybe riff. yeah, you know? we could do that. 
Um, See, this is where I'd love to have a fucking drummer in front of us to be like, here, try this right, right now. Like, right, right. I know this is a different way of doing things. So, it's okay. <laughs> well, this is what we did last time. What is we with sat. your infatuation with drummers, Dave? Relax. <laughs> oh man, I drove I, just, I drove him nuts it. a couple times because I was like, okay, so I know this is gonna bother you, but. <laughs> No, 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 no. See, we need this drum part over here, and we need these things over here. I, I will say, uh, as a uh, a programming drummer, you can you can kind of like in my head, I, like I understand some stuff, right? But it's definitely how you talk to Chris, and Chris is probably like, <laughs> right? Fuck you, right? Just fu fuck right. you. But it's absolutely yeah. how I've spoken to my drummers in the past, and right, my yeah. current drummer as well. <laughs> so I, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. But I, I tried them all. I tried them all. And Control Z, Dave, you know Control that. Control Z. Control Z. Just keep going. A good, a good seventy-five percent of them stayed. So I have a good average. You did have a good average. That's <laughs> good why I continue average. to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we probably do put a little too much heat on the drummers sometimes, <laughs> but they are the foundation. So That's true. it's you know it it's very important that they get it right. You know, yeah, a bad drummer can make a great band suck, and a bad drummer can make a mediocre band great. For sure. Absolutely, <laughs> you know, absolutely freaking lutely. But like the first thing I try and do is like when you know when we're in pre-production with a drummer, I have to like make sure that they understand that next to the lead vocal, you're the most important part of this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's and and because of that, it's like we need to kind of it's going to seem like I'm picking on you a little bit, but it's that's not really the case. It's just trying to establish the strongest foundation possible. Like if you're building a house, you can't leave anything to chance with the laying of the foundation because then once you put up all the window dressing i.e guitars and background right. vocals and stuff what good is that if it, the fucking house collapse yeah you know, like what, what good is that it's you funny know? i was having this conversation a similar conversation to this with chris the other day um because he was talking about like he's hearing a lot more like bass ideas and guitar ideas and he bought a he bought a bass and he has a guitar and he's messing around with stuff and and he was like um you know, he, he's, yeah, but he was like, uh, he goes, you know, I always, I always felt like I was, I was just a drummer and I was like, dude, there is no just a drummer. And he was, was but like, see, that's a perfect example though, of like what you're talking about. He went buying a bass. He wants to contribute more ideas, which that's right. not a problem, by the way. I, I know I laughed a little bit, but it's not a well, problem. Yeah. But, <laughs> uh, and like, no, but the thing is, it's like, the just a drummer thing really needs to be mixed, you know, like yeah. that's like a bad thing. But even they themselves have it in their head about that. You know? I, I told him, I was like, um, you you want to know what it feels like to, to be unnecessary in a band? Try being just a rhythm guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if, like I said, if anybody's more... if it's anybody's gear that you want to go down during a show, it's the rhythm guitar player. Right. But also you could say like, you know, like maybe like, over time in the rock and roll world, we've like put too much emphasis, like like especially in like the seventies and, and really the eighties, on the lead guitar player. Right. Like, yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm almost as important as the fucking vocalist now, kind of thing. Right. That right. was the seventies and eighties, the, the, the days of the guitar hero. Kind of, you yep. Know? But the the long short of it is, is you can't have a fucking great fucking groove in tune without a killer drummer and like doing fucking doing work back there. You can have yep. a song without a lead. You yep. know, I mean, Absolutely. and you can see that all the time now. And thank God, in a lot of ways, you know, but right. I mean, but you can't have a great groove in tune if drums are in the song. I mean, sure, you can have an acoustic tune or just a piano vocal type of thing. So it's a, it's like doesn't apply there. But like every other song you hear, the drummer's playing a, a massive role in how that's coming off. Like oh. always a no. I like when you guys released always a no craving. Like I made note in the post when I shared it to say extra shout out to monty and chris waterbury because this song isn't going to be like this without you two guys oh yeah given that fucking energy you yep. know yes yeah. so i made sure to point that out you know just so people understand that it's like they're driving the fucking bus here you yeah know? yeah yeah so the whole just the drummer thing i really wish that we could kind of like stop with that and like and stop making them the butt end of jokes i mean it's just too much fun not to i guess at the end of the day but yeah I, you know, it's I, true anytime we get a, a drummer on the podcast that's immediately what i do i just dig at them right immediately right. 
it's like the songwriters play to like bass players too. Shit, you know, bass players too. Bass players too. Well, well now get... that you've been now that you've been playing a little drums, you try and talk to them like it's common ground. <laughs> like, as a drummer myself. No, 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 <laughs> no. I, I, I did a misstep because, <laughs> because. You uh, you kind of jumped on me like right away when you were like, whoa, 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 as a drummer, and I was like, wait, no, 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 I'm not saying as a drummer myself. I'm just saying as the drummer of this band. And I asked my question. He, Jimmy, Jimmy's like super fast to be like, oh, I can make this into a joke. Fuck you. That's true. and all he has to do is just like cut me off just a little bit and make me the asshole. Yeah, you know most what? Of, the, most the, of comedy is timing. Yeah, the, or lack thereof. The perception of, of how drummers relate sometimes to like the songwriters or the producers, it can like turn adversarial real quick if you don't like, you know, talk to them in the right way and like kind of, you know, like really just make sure that they're being heard, you know? Like I even had to have that conversation with Chris like mm-hmm. like last year, you know, where it's like he felt like I wasn't hearing him as much, like, like on certain issues with the mixes and choice right, of right. drums and things like that. And when he brought it up to me, I'm like, geez, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, it's like because that's not what I'm trying to do. It's like but I get lost in my own bullshit sometimes. You and I, Jim, like we're cooking on something and right. it's like, oh, yeah, it's like you need your say so too you know it's like you all, know, you're, all you're saying is hey you know, drummer know your place <laughs> <laughs> you said that not me um it's <laughs> but no here's a funny example of like the, the way a drummer will relate to like sometimes other drummers too like it's like they put like, a lot of weight on what other drummers will say to them yeah so it was funny when doing the ba ba boom record a year and a half ago um their drummer Joey, he's he's really cool, and he took to the pre-production process so well. He did everything I asked him, and he upped his game. It was fucking fantastic. But Robbie, the guitar player, says to me, he goes, and he's like the band leader too. Robbie goes, you know, he thinks you're a drummer, and I'm like, oh really? It's like he loves your idea, so he he assumed you're a drummer because of all of this stuff you're saying. Right. And I'm like, and I'm like, oh, that's wild. He's like, let's keep it that way, so we can <laughs> listen to hold you on know? to this. So the whole part of the pre-production process, I never let on to the fact that I'm not a drummer. Because, you know, I'll tell him when I'm thinking, you've seen me do this. It's like, here, try this. Buddha, Buddha, ba, Buddha, right, right, right. I speak drum. I just don't play them. You know, it's like kind of one of those things. So, but when we were done with the drum tracks and like he was like happy with everything good, I was like, okay, I got a confession to make. I'm not a drummer. And he was like, what? Like, kind of, like, and Robbie wanted to keep it going. He's like, no, no, don't tell him. I'm like, no, we need to know. We but might was, need to do this again. <laughs> but it was a funny thing, though, because, like, Robbie thought Joey was taking me more seriously, like, more to heart because he thought I played. That's and I'm funny. like, interesting. You know, that's that's very yeah. interesting. But, like, he learned something, too. Like, oh, I guess non-drummers can understand our world. And that's it. Go. I try to make sure I take the time to, like, you know, feel like they're appreciated properly and that they're getting everything they want out of the experience. Breaking know? down barriers via Dave, assimilation. Dave Caggiano. It's part of the process though. It's a lot of it's psychological and like just making sure everybody's fed and watered properly, you know? That's very true. Very true. Because everybody's a human being, but it's harder for you guys in the band because it's such a close and intimate situation. Like if the weird old uncle comes in the room and goes, hey, you know what? What about this? It's like everybody's more apt to be like, oh, okay, than from a band member, you know? Like, it's- Yeah, I think bands sometimes we have a tendency to talk to each other and hear each other as if we're talking to the part and not the person playing the part. Right. Yeah. You know? Like, I don't like, think anybody ever has bad intentions, but it right. can come off wrong if you're just like overly obsessed or overly focused on the actual part. And then it kind of starts making it not as human a thing anymore. Well, yeah. people people take it that way too. Like if someone says your part's not good, they take it as if you're saying like you're not good. Right. That's a two way street like, for sure. You know, yeah. like you don't want to, and that's why people like me exist actually to come in and make sure. No, it's not that. Right. You know? Like kind of like a referee in a way, or or something like kind of like get in get in there. It's like I might be saying like everybody will be on their best behavior. You know, mm-hmm. if like I'm in the room, kind of because nobody wants to be 
the, like, you know, somebody who's digging in their heels and being contrarian and all that kind of stuff. So they're going to want to try and entertain things. So I got to like throw a bunch of ideas at the wall, you know, that maybe if it comes from somebody else in the band, it might be quick to be shut down just because of the way the relationships are, you yeah. know, as human beings. And, you know, this is why it, it, it makes sense because I, I try to make sure everybody has their moments and everybody's heard and everybody's like kind of doing their thing. But ultimately, it's about the song at the end of the day. You know? Yep. Amen. Agreed. Yeah. Well, all right. So do we do we Are there any more notes on this song other than the um the second stop and uh just kind of That was really that. it for, for me personally. I, I, I do think that this this one didn't really have notes. It didn't have that many to begin with. Yeah. Um, no, it was strong. It but, was just these transition points were a little. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we wanted to we wanted to smooth those out, but I, I do think the, I think that's really it. I mean, just fixing the one thing, and and the notes that I have here for it are all suggestions for, the one right that part part. So and that dumbing down of the drums was the other thing too. Right. Bridge, yeah. Right. And that's definitely better. And once again, that's a thing where the drum, when the drummer's in the room, you're really going to figure out he might, you might even dial it back to like a little bit more busy. If the drummer's really killing it, and it's cooking, you know, if it works, if, 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 yeah, if they're, if yeah. they're able to, to hold do it the, yeah, yeah, hold, hold it down on that riff. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it'll definitely, that's right. Definitely do it. Yeah, because like you, it's one of those things. It's like for now, you dumb it down a little with the program drums, and then like just like kind of leave it. Like, how are you going to do this exactly, and see how yes. he's going to interpret that? You know, definitely, yeah. for sure. So, what do we do now? Do we do we uh, do we let these people go? Do we show off the the Michael Kelly guitar? Or, or what do you want to do here? I I don't know. Well, we should probably show off the Michael Kelly guitar when we can plug it in and play it. So let's, okay, let's take let's wait on that. We'll wait on that. And uh, but everybody, then uh, then thank you. Yeah. Uh, second pass in the books. Not too bad. Yeah, we'll have yeah. to we'll have to fucks with these things, but that's a few okay. more little things. Yeah, not bad. A little tweaky tweaky. We do that next week. Yeah, and all the suggestions we've gotten from people watching uh, have been pretty cool so yes we're getting one person right now saying show the guitar but uh you're gonna have to wait i know you have to that wait. Is. Mm. you're gonna have to wait for the unboxing yes and uh and we're also going to have um the gentleman who uh has loaned us the guitar from michael kelly guitars on the show so uh yes. oh it's a loaner is that we'll what just have is? to wait on guitar? that it's a, it's a loaner that i'll probably end up buying <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll talk after this it's it's pretty sick yeah <laughs> it's pretty sick so he might be he might be getting two buyers so the right, unboxing right. thing has become like a real phenomenon i noticed people do this unboxing thing. it's like, oh, it's no. literally on their box yeah it's it's on the box that the guitar comes in that that has a hashtag unboxing michael kelly Right. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah. They want to make sure that you at that point you hashtag them because I'm seeing a lot of those unboxing videos for anything guitars, it, musical instruments, you know, anything like food. I <laughs> like you know people do yeah. this. Now. Yeah, I'm gonna unbox my lunch. I <laughs> did one point. the other day, but like cause <laughs> I've been doing this thing. There's an app called Too Good to Go, which is like it's you know, awesome. oh yeah, yep. Oh, you know about it. yeah. Oh, it's phenomenal, right? So, but a friend of mine, she was like, "Oh, I want to see what you get tonight." She's like, "Can you do an unboxing for me?" Of the food, I'm like, "Yeah." So I did set up a video, and I'm like, "So, okay, well, let's see what's in the box." You know, right, right. All right, there's a chicken, chicken franchise slice. <laughs> there's a there's a a grandpa slice with vodka sauce and everything. So it's like, so I had an unboxing of dinner a few nights. Yeah, ago. and it's like I gave them ten dollars, and I got. Seven pieces of pizza. <laughs> I know it's like four ninety nine, and I got like twenty five dollars worth of pizza. Yeah, it's awesome because they're all specialty slices. Yeah, those aren't cheap. Yeah. So the, I'm a fucking classic fucking miser, man, and I'm a cheapskate. So this is like playing right into my fucking. Wheel we've now. we've done it for uh, bagel places too, where you. How many they me. give you? We've gotten like twelve, thirteen bagels before oh, for five bucks. Five bucks. 12, 13 big. Oh, I'm all over that. I got to yeah. put them in the freezer. Fuck. Exa yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I'm all about the bargains. Yep. It's all about putting them in the freezer. And then when you're ready, put them in a damp paper towel, throw them in the microwave for a minute. You're good to go. Air fryer. Or air fryer. Uh, air fryer is good. Yeah, I feel like once you take them out of the freezer, it's like you got to toast them at that point or something. 
No, well, the, 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 the wet paper towel microwave it, is it a good It actually does way. work. It's a good way. It, pu- it, like, it rehydrates, puffs it back up. And you can eat it without toasting it like that? And it works. You can. You can. You, you can. It, right. it, you, you have to do it quick, though. Right. Mm. You can't you can't let it sit for, you know, you can't do it and then not slice it and cream cheese it and eat it immediately. Mm. If, yeah. if you don't do that, then, yeah, you're going to have to then just crouton it. That makes point. sense. That that I get. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I, I air fry my my air fryer has a um, like a one of those like prod thermometers so I can stick a thermometer in the middle of it. OK. And then it'll show me the temperature of the inside of the bagel. So I don't even and- slice it. And I wait until it's like 120, 130 degrees, and then I slice it, and then I toast it. It's pretty great. That's pretty. So you awesome. air fry first, and then toast. Well, I toast in the air fryer. I just in the air. Well, I yeah, I got one like there. that too, where yeah, it's yeah. both toaster and the air fryer. That's that's yeah. awesome. I don't have a prod thermometer in my air fryer. Yeah, it's got like a meat thermometer, but I I put it in everything. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, you can. don't tell me how to use. <laughs> don't tell me how to use a meat thermometer. Oh boy, I'll tell you. All I right. decide. We do digress, though. Uh, guys, thank you for joining us once again. Dave, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Um, we'll see you guys next week where we take these notes and hopefully make the songs more gooder. Yeah, and if you are uh, keeping your eye out for the unboxing or the um, or the interview with, uh, with our buddy Steve from Michael Kelly Guitars, Jump over to uh, strangerhoodtv.com, which is our YouTube page. Check mm-hmm. out Bacon is my podcast. We have uh, episodes Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, and it'll be on one of those or some other point during the week. It might pop up if it's the unboxing. Yeah. So check us out there, and uh, always remember to ask yourself every single day. I don't know. Let's kick it to Dave. Do you remember what the what do you uh, have the to big ask question yourself? that everyone should ask themselves? You know, you've done this before. What's, what? a, what's my bacon? I mean, what? What's, what's your, bacon? your bacon? That's right. That's... Is that right? You got yeah. damn right it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was taking a guess. I was like, it's got to be the bacon thing, right? It's, it is. It's the bacon. Peace, it's always Twitchers. The bacon thing.